Hi and welcome to our vegan kitchen. Today we're in for a treat, another treat. And this is some grain and guess what we'll do today? We will bake an Irish quick bread. Wow, that sounds great. And if you need a bread within two hours, this is the way to go. Because um, with the normal procedure of baking bread, you need yeast. And then you have to let it rise and all that. So this, we will use baking soda. So this is the grain. Mm -hmm. It's mostly spelt and oat and a little bit of millet. Mm -hmm. And we go to our stone grinder and mm -hmm. have it to make flour. Here we go. So here we have the flour. Wow, that's a lot. And this was actually two and a half cups of grains. And this gives now four, four cups. cups. Mm. So this is now this beautiful freshly ground flour. Mm -hmm. We have a pinch of salt, mm -hmm. a little bit more. And this is the baking soda. Mm -hmm. This is about like a good tablespoon. And this is some seeds, flax seeds and caraway. Oh, some caraway too. Huh? Yeah. Nice. Mix and, it up. And then we mix it up nice and even. And then this is milk. You can use any kind of plant milk. We have here the oat milk, mm -hmm. which um, I just made two days ago. And right now in here is like a cup, but we don't put everything in because it's not easy to take the liquid out, but it's easier yeah. to add it. Mm -hmm. So, making a little middle here. Let's see, maybe I stop there. And this is one tablespoon of ground flax seeds and three tablespoons of water. Mm -hmm. It's instead of an egg which Irish bread calls for egg and milk and butter and all kinds of things. But we, we have, have the oat milk. In the oat milk, we can watch, if people are interested, our oat milk making video. And then we have lemon. It needs something sour to make. So that's good enough. Yeah. So not the whole. Okay. So now we mix it and the sour is needed because they would use buttermilk in the recipe and wow great oat milk and now i think it's just exactly right mm -hmm. just has to connect all the flour and the seeds and everything. It's kind of a rustic bread. Mm -hmm. I use baking paper because it's so easy. To reuse it obviously right here you can see mm -hmm. so what we like is it to look somewhat like this and then we make indentation because it's a sharing bread the Irish would this then break off 
and share it. And it goes into the pan. And here we have it. And it will go into the oven. Beautiful. It's preheated to 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. And it will have to be baked for about 30, 35 minutes. I come back and look 30 minutes and then I see you again soon. Back here in the kitchen and the Irish bread, quick bread, is finished baking after 35 wow. minutes. Yeah, that's beautiful. I wish everybody could smell it too. Mm. Uh -huh. This is it. So this is it. Wow. And um, we let it cool down now a little bit so we can break it. So now we're back and uh, the proof that this is baked, we can tap and if it's hollow sounding, it's good. Here I prepared for the busy schedule midday snack, Yay. something really healthy. Mm -hmm. All sticks, easy to eat, and one can also put them in a bag or in a container and bring them to work mm -hmm. or anywhere, picnic or so, or just at home. So here we have uh, the cucumbers, carrots, sprouted walnuts, sprouted Brazil nuts, tomatoes, these are Peruvian olives and chicory leaves. That's a kind of a lettuce mm -hmm. leaf you yeah. find in the health food store for sure. It's of course all organic like always. <laughs> and here is our fresh baked bread and we will break it open. Okay, wow. There so it is. this is it. Beautiful. It smells good. Yeah. Put that with the veggies and you've so got a nice... You have perfect meal. Perfect meal. You can eat. Healthy, no sugar, Pretty salt meal. or oil added, all whole food from scratch. <laughs> it's uh, nothing uh, kind of hidden away. Mm. So, bon appétit. Bon appétit. It looks delicious. Yeah.